In this video, we are going to solve one of the interesting algorithms that is the merge interval. I would recommend please watch the complete video because once you understand this concept, you can solve any kind of the similar problems where you have to merge the many kind of different inter intervals. So let me first understand what is the problem here and how to solve it. So suppose you have given the different interval. Interval means you can understand uh, this is one interval. Uh, this interval could be for any meetings time or any study time or any game time, any court booking, meeting room booking. So suppose this is the uh, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. One meeting is there. Another meeting is start from the 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. You can understand this is the time frame, right? And this is the different time uh, time zone or different things. You can understand that. What you have to do, this is the input they given. What you have to uh, do that, you have to merge all the overlapping interval. So suppose if you see any meetings or anything, any unit that start from the 1, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Next meeting is start from the 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. So you can see here these two meetings are overlapping because suppose I do have the two meetings. One meeting start from the 1 o'clock and ending 3 o'clock. Another meeting start from 2 o'clock ending 6 o'clock. Means both meetings are overlapping because in this meeting you will be there till 3 o'clock. Another meeting is starting from 2 o'clock. So both are uh, the overlapping. So you can combine both 1 to 6 because this meeting start from 1 and this meeting ending from the 6 at the 6. So I can overlap the both and make the one meeting that is the 1 to 6. Now you can see this is this meeting overlap with this meeting no because it is ending at the 6 o'clock and another meeting start at 8 o'clock. So there is no any overlapping right or if you can understand this is the not am pm or any uh, or, or 24 hours scenarios so there is no overlapping between this one this so output would be the 8 10 and here also this meeting is the ending with 10 o'clock this meeting start from the 15 o'clock so this meeting is also not the overlapping and this is your final output so this is your output here in this case we able to overlap here how we understand this is overlapping or not so the simple rule is that if this first meeting ending time means first meeting end time is greater than or equal with the second meeting or next meeting starting time right this is the condition for the overlapping and if we get the overlapping what we have to do we have to merge if this is no overlapping no merging so in this case if you see this 3 is greater than 2 that's why this was the merging condition so we merge the both and when the merging the merging time what you have to do is starting time take from the first meeting and ending time take from the either first or second that we will discuss that what is I am trying to say here so we solve that now try to solve this one this is another example this was the example one and this is the example two in this case if you see obvious this 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 one is going to overlap with this one but you can also see that we have another meeting that between the three to five that could be also merged with this right because if you merging these two you will be getting one to six right and that between one to six this three and five is also coming so this should be also merged so how you will do that and if you put this logic that first meeting 
ending second meeting is starting is matching or not but this is the fourth index right so it will be difficult to do that our complexity will be increased so first and foremost what we have to do we have to short this and there are many mechanism in java we can use that arrays dot sort and you can pass this interval inputs and you have to pass the argument on which on which basis we have to use the comparator and then you can use apply anything right we can do the a minus or b minus or you can use the integer comparator uh, comparator right so because why i have taken the zero because this is double dimension one represent is this complete data right one three so this one is represent one three and b represent two six and i have to compare from only the first element so this is zero index this is one index this is zero index this is one index that's why i have taken the zero to for the the first index so which way we will sort that we will sort on the first index so after sorting you will be get like this one three then two six because this is one two now this is three after three we will get the seven after seven we will take the eight after eight i will take the fifteen so always consider the first element while you sorting purpose once if we get the sorted so first sort the your input then check this again check the first element first index because this is index 0 right this is index 0 this is index 1 for this array right so of the first index the last element this 3 i have to check with the second element of the first element second index of the first element so we have to compare this 3 and 2 if it is this is greater then we have to merge it so after merging what will be the result merging after merging it will be the 1 and 6 and this is the 3 and 5 and this is 7.9 then 8 and 10 and 15 and 80 right so after that if you can see if you can observe that one by one i am going in the linear fashion to uh, find out the merge or not merge so this is the one step so what i did actually here i check first and second again i will check in the first second here so this six is greater than three so i will merge both after merging i will take this part here and this part here or this part here so so suppose i have to merge the one six and three five so of course i can starting from here what would be the ending in this case in the is 6 or 5 so whatever the maximum that is the ending in this case 6 is maximum i took the 6 in this case also if you can see starting was the 1 and 2 but i always take this starting ending either 3 or 6 which is the maximum so maximum is the 6 i took the 6 in this case also 6 and 5 i take the 6 so this maximum value could be either from your first index or the second index if you can see uh, if i have to merge first i have to check whether this is overlapping or not so i will check this element and this element if this is the candidate for merging so what i will do i will always take the one from here and for the ending time i will compare this three compare this three and this six which is the greater i will take one so six is greater i will take one in this case compare 5 and 2 5 is greater this candidate is for the uh, candidate is for the uh, merging so this is overlapping so i will take this one from here and compare for this and this which is the maximum i will take here right the same way i did the merge for this one 6 then go for the 7 9 8 10 and the 15 18 now I, again i will compare these two 
6 7 6 is not greater than 7 we beat 9 is not greater than 8 9 is greater than the 8 right so this case this could be merged right so answer again 1 6 7 come 9 and 10 10 is greater take this one and this is your final one so this was the logic and algorithm let me do how you can uh, design for this problem right so what if you do that's very easy solution that is not very complicated so take this we have the two dimension array right take the same two dimension array suppose i give the name result and take the same size for time being how we get the size size is the interval length and of course each each uh, each array is of the two size so i can get the two so you have the result right so suppose this is your you got it right and right now this is the empty right first you do take the first element if you want to do this one take the first element 1 3 as it is copy into the result means what i am saying to you so if you see the little bit code here what i did here i did result and take one any variable j put the zero so result j intervals zero so take this first element if you taking this is your input first take and put into the result okay so now we already got this element now make one for loop starting from one because i have already taken this one so it will start from here and it will go till all the element so intervals dot length plus plus and here you have to check that whether this is the overlapping condition or not so how will you check this first element right so take the first how will we take the first j is equal to 0 i have kept so j will be for this array i will use the j for this array i will use the i okay keep in mind so now i will check that if result j means this element this element this part second part so this is the index one if it is greater or equal with what i am comparing this one right so this part i am comparing this part and what is this this is the interval array i because i have started the i from one so this is the one right this is the zero this is one this is the two this is the index for this array right i am comparing this part between this and this right for the overlapping as we discussed that so this is the zero index if this is the case yes, means both is going to overlap so what happened that i have to update this one now this value will become the one this is merging so one and six right so i am going to update this part so how are you going to update take the result j i am updating the one part means second part and which value it should come this is the maximum value of this and this right in this case which is the maximum between this and this so max this one is the this part is this one right so result j 1 and comma interval i and 1 i am comparing both 1 1 right this is the 0 index this is 1 index whatever it is there i will update now we have already taken care so i will not do anything right but the next case if you see here or, or we are doing that next case again this condition will be true this also merge and for that again it become the six only right 
because this is the 1 6 was merging with the 3 5 so again it become the 1 6 I have not done anything now come to the else part when this will not match with this one right so what happened that that is the else part in this case I have to put into the result right next time that we match with this one and this one so this data will go to the result right now in our result only 1 and 6 is there now I am going to put one 7.7 7 and the 9 right because it was not overlapping so if it is not overlapping keep as it is so I have to keep this data into the result array for that I have to increment the j right so I will do that result plus plus j means first you increment the j and then keep this the interval i value that is a complete your logic here so again it will go to the next if this overlapping this one then again this will update automatically according to the if one and what finally you have to return you have to return result but and the result size is the same there after merging that size might have reduced so then you have to use I am writing here then you have to use average copy of range means you have to only return the data where you only particular that point you have to return where data is there so result 0 and then the ij plus 1 that will be seen in the code okay and also do one thing instead of the result you can use the list also so in the code i will show the both part how it will work that okay so first make the array sort so what i will do arrays dot sort take the intervals and pass the completer element right first and second element and then you can use the integer completer or anything and i, I thought this is easiest way so so it will make you array sort then take one result as we discuss on the whiteboard so result and size of course each array is the size 2 and the number of element first keep the same number that we have the input array right and give the first element make one int is equal to 0 and keep the first element of interval into the result and then we can start the compare right so intervals first element take one for loop that is we start from the one because the first element i have already taken that so jb represent the scanning for the result and i will uh, for the interval and this will go all the element of the input And first we check whether this is uh, the good candidate for the overlapping or not for that what I have to do result the j element right and there the second element if second element is greater than or equal with the intervals i element the first element of that the uh, that the compare index right so that is the zero if that is the case then we have to update j1 as we discuss on the board with max value of either result or you can copy either result 1 or the interval 1 if that is not the candidate for the overlapping then what if you do in the result first we increment the j copy the interval i that's it and then when you return if you just return the result but keep in mind we do no, no need to return the whole array we have to copy of range right so for that what if you do array dot copy of range
wizard from geo index to the j plus one right so because we have to uh, inclusive for the j and now let me run this code so it is accepted in one shot and now we can if you see that if you have to input this 1 3 2 6 8 10 15 18 so of course 1 3 and 2 6 should be the merge right and if you see the other one and or in this only if you want to add some more uh, in test cases add some more right so it will require the sorting so if i can say the 2 and 5 also right and the uh, 3 and of 4 and 7 4 and 9 let me just do that now run it so what happened that in very test case what i did okay i forgot to put this array so they will internally first sort according to this line number 4 and see i have given that and output should be because 1 3 we overlap with the 2 6 and this 2 6 overlap with the 2 5 and 2 5 overlap with the 4 9 and 4 9 overlap with the 8 10 so everything will come into 1 10 and this 15 and 8 will not uh, overlap so and let me submit this code this code should also work submitted because i have already tested it so we can get this is the submitted okay now let me check if i instead of the array if i take if i take uh, the list how it will work so don't take this one instead of that take one the list they will have a one each array and give the name it all okay and no need to have this one or remove that if you have any confusion here right. and in this return add the first element of the intervals the first element right or you can do the zero uh, okay so in i'm in just making for the j is for this return okay now here we will check that that instead of that we will check that return dot get j1 if this is the case then here also change one and in this case it will be the j right and if it is not the case then we will add but before that you have to increment j or you can uh, do anything anyway so because j is maintaining for you uh, the uh, return array things return list that is done and for the returning what you have to do you have to return two arrays from where to here so new int each size is the two and here return dot size i think that should work uh, let me run and see that yeah it is accepted actually it's a two array and that's this code is also fine let me submit this code this code is also working fine so either you can use the uh, double dimension array or the list this is also accepted thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe this channel it takes a lot of effort to make any videos and upload that I appreciate you uh, make the subscribe and share these videos thank you